Hello and welcome to Brick Tip number 56. If you enjoy seeing our videos about designing with LEGO, please consider supporting us on Patreon. I had a request from a little girl named Hannah who watches our channel with her mother for a carousel swing. And because everything that I do is about inspiring people, especially kids, to get into engineering and being creative with their Lego, how could I refuse? So my very first challenge was how to get the centrifugal forces acting. I don't know how the Lego carousel works. I don't actually own one. I didn't build it. But I looked for inspiration at how actual carousels work in real life and they are all driven by wheels. So I emulated that in this turntable design where the drive for the turntable comes from the center wheel and these two guide wheels keep our circle locked in against our drive wheel. I'm going to turn it on again so you can see how that works and then I'll show you more closely how I designed this. So here's our round section. It's built with some curved bricks and hinges locking those together. On the bottom we have the plate with the pinhole in it and just some wheel rims to act as bearings. The main drive is very simple. We just have our motor connected directly to our drive wheel. So our guide wheels are both constructed the same way. They both have an axle and then a pin connector underneath. We don't need these to be causing any friction against the round section, it just needs to keep the round section firmly in place against our drive wheel. So you'll notice when the guide wheels are in place that both of them are slightly bent. This is just from the pressure being exerted onto the round section. It's actually not causing any amount of stress to the parts themselves because these are axles. There's a little bit of play in those pinholes and we need that, that bit of stress to make sure that our drive wheel is firmly connected to the round section in the middle. And lastly, we just have some Technic panels for our bearings to roll on so that everything remains nice and frictionless. The less friction we have in this design, the better. If you're looking for a turntable of your own for whatever reason, I think this is a great design to work on. You could gear it up and gear it down to get it as fast or slow as you like. And I think there's going to be a lot of potential for this kind of design. Hopefully you found this inspiring and it makes you want to go out and try this yourself. If you have liked it, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and share it around so that others can enjoy it. Thanks so much, have a fantastic day, keep dreaming in bricks, bye bye.